We are Legion. What is happening, YouTube, and welcome to the Legion of Comics. I've got a mail call that came in from Frankie's Comics, and it's very metal, so don't go anywhere. So if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel out a lot. Hit that notification bell so you know when future videos drop. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my videos. I appreciate the feedback and I enjoy the interaction. You can also get a hold of me and follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Both of those links are in the description to this video. So thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to the channel. Let's get into it because I'm really excited. This isn't my first time ordering from Frankie's Comics. It's an awesome store that uh, they've had their controversy in recent times. There's a lot of people that were very aggravated over their uh, shipping times and how long it took books to get out to them. And uh, there's different aspects of the comic book community, so I can understand where some people might have their grievance with that if they're trying to get certain books because you want to try to resell them or whatnot. And that delay can greatly affect the value of the book by the time you get it and post it online and stuff like that. But for me, I'm pretty much just ordering stuff for me to keep for myself. So I haven't had any issue with them. They always arrive in perfectly good shape. The packaging has been great. And now they've been using these Comic Shield mailers. And these things are fantastic. Not only do they look cool because they're customized with the Frankie's pug there, but uh, the way they hold the books are awesome. So this is already cut into, and I did open it. I do want to show how these look in case you've never had one. They just fold right open, and your book sits down in these tabs, and they just tape it down to the tabs. Awesome, awesome packaging, awesome mailer. And I hang on to those in case I ever need to ship something out. I'm, I'm hoping that here in the not too distant future, I'm going to kind of get the courage to start posting more of my stuff for sale that I have that I can let go of just to kind of make up some more space. And I'm sure you've heard this, but help the, the hobby, support the hobby and help fund the hobby. But let's get into it because these are some awesome books I got. And I also want to spotlight some ones that I have previously that kind of go with this new one. But uh, this is also a John Jang variant. I've kind of been trying not to miss any of those as they get released. I know a lot of people follow different artists like Clayton Crane or Del Otto. A lot of people are following Peach Momoka these days. I follow Jang's art very closely. I try not, like I said, get behind on any of them. And uh, so obviously this is a, a death metal book, if you haven't guessed that already. But he has worked on this character before. I want to spotlight one of those. From his first time he did him was on deceased issue number four, where he did this amazing Batman who laughs. And then he did a bunch of other covers, but he got back around to it with Frankie's. And if you, uh, I did post this before, but he did the Dark Knight's Death Metal issue number five, where he did the Robin King. But now he has a new one. Oh, hey, monkey. It's this one. But now he has a new one that came out. And I made sure to pre-order it when it came out. It was right before Christmas. And I think Frankie's might be like back on pace because this, this shipped out quick. It arrived quick. I'm happy it did. I'm happy to add to the collection. But it's Dark Knight's Death Metal. Issue number seven, the finale of Death Metal. That insane Batman who laughs. And this one, uh, I think it was just the... I don't think Frankie's put print runs up, but... It might have just been that regular, like, 1,000 copies to 500 for the Virgin. And uh, I did get the set. Is your mama? It's like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> She's looking at the camera the whole time, like, bye. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the uh, trade dress. And then the Virgin variant, which is absolutely insane. Like, that is, that is just sick. And you can see... Uh, and I talked about this on a previous video, the Transformers ones, how uh, with the Transformers, the A and B cover, he did it just do a trade dress and a virgin. There were two different covers. And in this one, it is the trade dress and the virgin, but he did switch it up. Like uh, the trade dress on his on his helmet or his crown, it's, it's made of metal and it's kind of darker. But on the virgin variant, it's like white hot metal. Just absolutely insane art so it does, they do have subtle differences so that's really cool i do appreciate when they do that this was just too insane to pass the level of detail in this like all of his stuff is just through the roof he has this crazy ability just to do horrific images 
and he you can see like the layers in his art and it just adds this like hazy discomfort to some of these like horror pieces he does it's really fantastic and speaking of horror pieces i do have a horror book that's here that i'll be showing off probably in the next day or two i'm excited to share that one as well but uh, yeah those are the three that he's done so far for the uh kind of the, the metal characters well, let me know what you think which one uh, do you think was wilder that first one he did or this new one that he did or do you think his robin king was more twisted than the other two the character sure is more twisted so out of those, which one did you like? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, what artists do you enjoy? Which which artists do you try to keep up with and snag their books as they come up? But a uh, short video this time. I appreciate everyone watching. Be sure to hit that like button on the way out. Check out my Instagram. Check out the Facebook page. And uh, thank you guys for checking it out. And as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.